All right, let's get on to uh, answering our viewer mail tonight, shall we? Letter number one. This is something we do, by the way, every Thursday. And uh, since tonight is not only Thursday, but the first day of uh, summer, we'll be answering it an hour earlier. <laughs> Letter number one begins, Dear Dave, when I broke an ashtray, I glued it back together with crazy glue. I thought it was dry when I put it down, but it wasn't. Now I have an ashtray permanently glued to a glass tabletop. It just won't budge. How do I remove the ashtray without breaking the glass? Please help me, Dave. I urgently await your reply. Sincerely, Mike Bales for Lauderdale, Florida. Uh, well, Mike, in all honesty, I'm not very familiar with crazy glue. Paul, I know you were using it to fix your glasses earlier today. Do you have any uh, hints for... I would just say, uh, you know... Uh... Use it sparingly. That's, yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. good. That's good advice, Paul. Yeah. <laughs> now, that's comedy, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely free, too. That's right. It, it is free. We don't, we don't charge you a cent for this fine <laughs> entertainment. Uh, okay, by the way, my cable was off for about a day. Really? Yeah, they just stopped. It just stopped. 68 channels of snow. <laughs> And I've got a strange thing attached to my ear, so there you go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, dear Dave, take a close look at the cover of the Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band album, letter number two begins. Isn't that your announcer, Bill Wendell, standing behind Paul McCartney? Sincerely, Michael Garrett. Gee, you know, I never really paid any attention, but when we got the letter, we dug out the album, and, well, let's, let's all find out together. Here, of course, is the cover... Take a look, if you can get close there, right behind Paul McCartney over here. Yeah. I'll be darned. That's, you know, I, it's funny, I never, never really noticed that. Thank you for calling that to our attention. Uh, let's see, letter number three. Dear Dave, do you remember me? On July 6th, 1981, I sat in the next to last row fifth seat to the left of center aisle. Now do you remember? It's the seat with the big glob of grape bubble gum on the underside, which I put there. Eric Costin, Ada, Ohio. Hmm, grape gum. Let's see, what did he say? It's the, the next to the last row, fifth seat to the left. One, two, three, four. There it is. Excuse me, sir. Pardon me. Sir? Yes, sir, you. Could you do me a favor, check under the seat there and see if there's grape bubble gum? Under the seat. Yeah, just take a look and see if there's... Yep. What? I, uh... I, think, I think it's lime. It's lime. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Forgive the uh, interruption. It's lime. It says here that it's, it's grape. I'm wait, sorry. Wait, wait. I, I, I think I've got the grape. Oh, you've got the grape. Okay, well, good. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, apparently, Eric, we, uh, we know just exactly where you were seated. <laughs> okay, no, I guess we're done with 303. was a two-carter there. All right. Let's uh, go on to letter number four now, ladies and gentlemen. Dear Dave, have you ever been bitten on your stupid pet tricks? And if you have, what happened? A great fan, Sean Abel... Uh, well, you know, Sean, it's interesting. We've been doing the show ever since the late 50s, and it's only happened once. Uh, I'll tell you what, take a look now at this bit of uh, file videotape, and I, I think you'll see just exactly what happened. Well, that, uh, that, now that one was stupid. There's no getting around it. That was stupid, and uh, the cigar was your idea, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy, and how long did it take you to teach him that? About a year and a half. A year and a half, That's so right. uh, obviously you have no job, no, no friends, no... Okay, well, that's, uh, that's our viewer mail. Once again, my thanks to everybody who takes the trouble to uh, drop us a line a week in and week out. We certainly appreciate your cooperation. Now, uh, tonight, we've got a good show. Let's get on with it. Uh, we're going to go away for a few minutes, but don't be alarmed. We'll be right back, and we're going to talk with Jimmy Pearsall. Thank you, folks. <laughs>